In the last episode you saw us exploring the famous traditional bazaar of Tashkent, Uzbekistan, the Chorsu Bazaar. We are back at the bazaar and we want to show you briefly the community dining hall adjacent to the massive blue dome. Here you can see and taste the unexpected. So let's start. This is honim, almost like dumplings made with tomatoes, chilies and onion. You can ask for a small portion topped with chili or two onion rings and garnished with cilantro. You can also taste fried fish, grilled sausages, kebabs and meat. These sausages are made of stuffed lamb intestines and a delicacy here. You can get kebabs and somsa everywhere. This norin is made of horse meat and local cheese. The beef kebabs cooked in lamb fat are my favorites. Paired with fluffy and crispy naan, it's simply divine. What's the chef in action? Under this small dome, you can see several Uzbek ladies selling traditional sweets and dried cheese called kurut. Cheese made of strained yogurt or sour milk and dried. They come in different sizes and shapes. Now we are heading to an iconic eatery in Tashkent. So tighten your seat belts. What's up guys? Welcome to Chomping Champion. I am your friend Anup Khamat. The national dish of Uzbekistan is plov or pulav. This is so famous there are many variations across Uzbekistan. Each region, each home of Uzbekistan produces or makes pulav differently. Today we are in Beshkoson. This is a famous joint and there are many branches across Tashkent. We are here to witness the making of the pulav and also taste the pulav. So let's go and see the pulav cooking. Beshkoson or Osh Markasi is the place to go if you want to see plow making and taste it too. The plow or Osh is made in humongous quantities in the vast kitchen of this eatery. The tagline of Besh Koson is delicious, nutritious every day. The eatery is also known as the Central Asian Pilaf Center and is next to Tashkent Television Tower. You can reach here by Metro or by Yandex Go Cab. Fresh naan are made in these huge human sized tandoors. These naan are smaller in size but looks fluffier. Different from the ones we saw in the Chorsu Bazaar. The standard ingredients for plov are rice, orange and yellow carrots and meat. All these are cooked together in one sizzling cauldron known as kazan. The popular meat options include beef and lamb. You can also add slices of horse meat sausages, quail eggs or regular chicken eggs. 
to make the pulao exciting to eat. Watch these young men dressed in black preparing pulao on wood fire. This is really humongous scale pulao making.
So we are in Beshkosan Central Asian Pilaf Center. The kitchen is massive. There is a large khazan or cauldron where it can cook about one and a half to three tons of pulao. But on a daily basis, they cook about 350 to 400 kgs of pulao. But there are smaller khazans, several of them, which cook about 150 to 200 kgs of pulao. There are three kinds of pulao which is getting cooked here. There is a special pulao, there is a wedding pulao, and there is a third one called charkhana pulao. I'm not sure whether I'm pronouncing it right. If I'm wrong, you can write in the comments below. We are going to try the wedding pulao and a couple of things. Maybe a salad and a curd. So what you do is you come and sit on the table. There is an indoor seating as well as an outdoor seating. You can see this outdoor seating. The weather is really nice and uh, there are plenty of people here. So we're going to sit outside and taste the pulao. We have already ordered the pulao and uh, we'll be here in just five minutes. I think our curd is here, the bowls, the naan and of course the salad. You can see the salad here. It is just a tomato and uh, onion salad. I think uh, this is soaked in or the onions are soaked in vinegar. So they're white onions, not the purple onions we get. There is a thick curd. You can see this curd. Uzbekistan is famous for his naan or bread. This is a small thick bread and you saw how this bread was made. This is an amazing bread and we can preserve this bread for a long time. It's quite thick. Just see how thick the bread is. So our wedding pulao is here. I'm only trying a small portion because I had a heavy breakfast. So I have the wedding pulao, the lamb on top of it and a couple of quail eggs. Unfortunately, there were no chicken eggs. And also I have a naan, you have seen that. Quite nice, thick, quite soft. It's almost like a cake. And some salad, tomato and onion salad. So I'm going to taste the rice per se. Let me take a bite. Mm. It is very mildly flavored and it's little sweet. Sweet because the carrots are there and the raisins are there. The rice is not very well cooked. It is little undercooked so there is a bite to the rice. I expected this pulao to be very greasy. The plenty of oil which is added to fry the meat and also the fat from the meat comes into the pulao. But when they serve it, fortunately this pulao I don't think it is very greasy. The lamb was fried in the oil and then the rest of the ingredients went into the cauldron and it was cooked along with the rice. So the lamb is fried and then cooked. So let's taste the lamb with some rice. Mm. Again, not much of masalas. It's not spicy at all. It is a very, at least for Indians, it's a bland dish. It's a pulao. This is completely bland for me. It's not spicy at all. You don't have to compare this pulao with biryani. Please don't. Because biryani is full of spices. Biryani can be spicy in case of Hyderabadi biryani or a, a biryani from Delhi. But Lucknow and Kolkata biryanis are less spicy but full of flavors. It bursts with flavors. But in this pulao, there is no cardamom, clove or cinnamon. This is quite neutral. The prominent taste is of the carrots. That sweetness of the carrot and raisins and chickpeas and the taste of the rice itself. The meat also is quite bland. So you can taste it with the salad or you can have a little bit of dahi along with this bread. I wanted to taste the bread. You may be wondering why I wanted to taste the bread. There is no gravy or salam here. But the bread on its own is quite super tasty. Let me just break the bread. You can see how spongy the bread is. And this is a piece of bread. You can see the sesame seeds on the top. The black and white sesame seeds. Let me take a bite of this naan. That's what it is called. Not naan. Naan. N-O-N. Mm. Very soft, 
and the taste of the crust with the sesame seeds is quite interesting. I'm going to take a little bit of that salad, onions and tomatoes and take a bite of this now. Mm. Here in Uzbekistan I've noticed that the tomatoes are super. They're plump, they're very juicy and full of flavors. But onions, they're not pungent. They're white onions and quite neutral. But a combination of both really work. The tomatoes and the onions. I had mentioned earlier that uh, probably there is vinegar in this but there is no vinegar. This is freshly cut tomato and onions. So another bite of this pulao. Even I can bite into black pepper here. I think it is black pepper. The whole peppers. Yeah. They are black peppers. There are also chickpeas. If you come to Uzbekistan, Tashkent, Samarkand or Bukhara, Pulav is a must try. If you are in Tashkent especially, there are plenty of places which serve Pulav, but this Vesh Koson is famous. It is all over the media and this is the star, this is the Antab of Pulav in Tashkent. I am going to take another 10 or 15 minutes and finish the Pulav, the curd, the salad and this naan and this is a delicious meal. It is just about 12.30 and this place is really bussing. You can freely walk into the kitchen, videograph or photograph. They will pose for you and you can see how this plow is getting made. This is an open kitchen and everything is cooked in wood fire. I hope you have liked this video of the Uzbek Pulao. If you have liked the video, give it a thumbs up and also like, share and subscribe to my channel. Till the next video, bye and take care and stay fit. Bye.